for the past couple of days I have been testing the step count accuracy of my new Casio LWS 2200H watch. Also this watch has the exact same module as in these uh, watches. So the 2000 and uh, 2000 and this one well. so well, ladies versions and men's version basically so they are maybe different designs but they have the exact same technology and same module so you can expect to get the same results on all of these watches so first test that i did uh, so first test was quite a success so i did 1000 steps and manually counted them and took uh, basically went in a straight line and without doing anything else and it recorded 1041 steps uh, which is four uh, percent like overcount and this is not bad at all very good however this is where it completely fails so i tested it further with my casio g-shock watch so while wearing my g-shock watch for or a day basically these were the results i got so on g-shock i got around a bit over 6000 but on this casio almost 8000 so 30 percent difference and guess which one is actually accurate well casio is sorry this casio g-shock actually is way more accurate than this one and it's actually one of the most uh, this casio cheap one is basically one of the most inaccurate step counters i have ever tried and i have tried like 40 different watches this year alone so when we take a look at the overall ratings uh, as you can see, the G-Shock isn't bad at all, and it overcounts by around 15 to 17 uh, percent only. So it's by no means perfect. And Samsung, Huawei, Apple are better, but still it's better than Fitbit, for example, or Garmin, which have got more error basically. So not bad watch if you want a good step counter. However, this one avoid it because it overcounts like crazy. So wh why does it? Why it's so inaccurate? because it literally counts every movement uh, basically when you move your wrist as a step so i think the uh, like the algorithms in this watch are like extremely uh, ancient basically so it doesn't really have uh, like high end tech inside like on the normal smartwatch so i guess it can't really distinguish that well if you are actually just moving around your arm or like actually taking steps so uh, then I have been also just uh, trying to fool it basically and see how many steps it takes. So I have basically done, did some scenarios of this watch. So while I'm basically sitting still and putting on my shoes, getting ready, I'm not moving, just maybe moving my rounds around, around as I'm tying my shoes, I'm getting 61 steps just so under that. Then I tried brushing my teeth for two minutes and I got 170 steps. Mind you, I was sitting on a bench while sitting, brushing my teeth. Then I took it for a bicycle ride 10 minutes. It recorded 620 steps. Then I also had to do some uh, dishwashing basically. And in a couple of minutes I washed my dishes. I had already done 200 steps while I wasn't really going anywhere and just standing. Then also I took a meal basically. I was, I was sitting down looked how many steps I have at the start after I fin and after I finished my meal as I was moving my arms around getting some food and stuff like that mind you I was sitting all this time and this watch recorded 140 steps so it's completely crazy so then finally let's compare to the actual uh, like the most accurate step counters the Samsung and Huawei so I wore today this Samsung watch basically you can see that this Casio has reported that I have taken around 5500 steps so let's check out the Samsung so the Samsung reports 3004 yep you can see insane difference that's like not 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 more than double but like yeah like 60 60 percent difference and the Samsung is the accurate one. This is complete garbage. It overcomes steps like crazy. So, uh, what's my conclusion? It pretty much fails completely and it should be listed at the pretty much end. Uh, even, it's even worse than the, those cheap Xiaomi or Amazfit watches. Those are absolutely terrible, but this one is even more terrible. So, 
don't really trust this watch because it's complete garbage. It overcomes like by 50 to 60 percent. So if you actually see someone saying this step counter is probably good, that means they simply haven't tested it actually, and they have maybe measured taken like 100 steps, counted in the in a mind, and they took 100 steps in straight line without doing anything else, and they concluded that this is accurate. But as you can see, when we actually dive into the details and test it thoroughly, this is complete garbage. And yeah, as a watch itself, I think it's an absolute great watch. If they could uh, literally like uh, uh, put in the same kind of step counter as on the more expensive Casio G-Shocks, then actually this would be insanely good watch and I would give it easily 10 stars. Because for example, the st like the stopwatch on this watch uh, and the timer, for example, is much better than on this expensive G-Shock watch. Also, the screen is better. Literally, like almost every feature on this small uh, Casio watch are better than on the expensive Casio G-Shock watches. But the step counter, yeah, it's complete shame and it's not really acceptable from Casio to put in such terrible step counter. Anyway, if you just want a basic watch that can maybe, <laughs> yeah, maybe, but you can maybe take for like a walks, record uh, step counters for your long walks, and yeah, maybe it's okay. But if you actually want a real number that you can get uh, when you actually wear your watch around the house and do like real stuff, then yeah, you really have no other options than to get like something like Samsung or Garmin or Huawei maybe or an Apple watch. So Garmin's aren't, aren't even really the best ones, they kind of suck really. But really stick to Samsung, Huawei or Apple and don't get this basically. So anyway, if this is helpful, make sure to hit the like button. See you!